This video is powered by the pros at Pascal Air Plumbing and Electric. Arkansas owned, Arkansas operated. GoPascal.com. Norm, great to see you today. I didn't know I'd see you, but always, you always put a smile on my face. Well, great. Great to be with you and Matt and uh, uh, just have great memories. Uh, just uh, always enjoy your broadcasts, you know, as a play-by-play guy for the Razorbacks. And I've always been a Matt Jones fan. I mean, just what an athlete. I'm always thinking, why doesn't he play baseball? <laughs> Coach, I'm, I'm answer, a big go fan. Go ahead and answer that question. Coach, <laughs> I'm a big fan of yours. I think track was in the same season, and, and the baseball coach and the track coach didn't get along. So it was some, something like that. But, no, I, I, uh, I, always, watch, watch, lo- I always loved watching your teams uh, play, Coach. Well, thank you. Yeah, it's been it's been good, and now that we're in Omaha, or you know, the games are just been exciting. One run ball games, good ball games. I mean, talent is unbelievable. You know, so it'll be an interesting game tonight. I if I'm a betting man, I think I'd bet LSU. Now, why? Why would you go with LSU today? Well, because of Skeens. Mm-hmm. I mean, I mean, I I just. Do uh, you think he'll start? Would you start him? I, I think he'll start. Everybody I've talked to said middle, bring him in, Would you know. Uh, you know, it's his fourth day. He's had three days of rest, and so uh, uh, it's that would be a tough call. Um, so anyway, I say this. We'll if there's a pitcher that can do it, I'd be a little nervous on somebody that throws that hard. The crazy thing about him, Coach, is that he doesn't look like he's trying to throw that hard. He just does. So I don't know if I'd call him like a max effort guy. Right, exactly. You know, he just, uh, you know, that ball just explodes. I mean, uh, you know, he's got so much stuff. And, uh, you know, just with the development of the breaking ball and the secondary stuff, you know, he'll. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised to see him in the big leagues this year late. That's kind of what I thought too, because man, it's a. Do you think it? Do you think? Um, who, do you think Dylan Cruz is ready made for the majors? Is it or is that a guy that might that might need a little time to simmer? Because he's also potentially the one one pick. Yes, um, you know I haven't seen him that much, but it looks like he has all the tools. I mean, he he's a guy that'll get there. I don't know how soon, but uh, um, boy, just that that talent level is unbelievable. No. I think he won the gold spikes, didn't he? Cruz did. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, won it yesterday. Coach, t- t- tell me a Jeff King story. I- isn't he going into the Hall of Fame uh, this at, at, at this deal? Is, is he there today? Um, I was talking to Mike Sweeney, uh, played with Jeff with the Royals when Jeff was with the Royals. And I asked Mike Sweeney one time, I said, Mike, what, what is Jeff King like? <laughs> because he's a guy that wouldn't say two words. I mean, I remember his double A manager called me one time and he said, you coach Jeff King, right? And I said, yes. And he said, well, tell me about him. I mean, and so, uh, I said, why, what's the issue? And he said, well, he's such of an introvert, you know, he won't talk. He doesn't say anything. And, you know, at that time he was struggling a little bit, you know, but, um, you know, he got there. But when I talked to Mike Sweeney and said, uh, uh, how's Jeff King? And he said, he brings humility to another level. I'll never <laughs> forget get him uh, saying that. Nice. When he did talk, he was very soft-spoken. Very was, soft-spoken. Yes. yes. I, had, I had a moment with him, too, and I think I've told you about this, Norm. Like, growing up in Pittsburgh, for some reason, my best friend at that time and I, we were baseball crazy. He was a pitcher. I was a catcher. We went to Pirates games. Just the two of us. We would ride buses downtown, go to games by ourselves. We, for some reason, chose Jeff King as our favorite pirate. Really? Same pirates that had Barry Bonds, Bobby Bonilla, Doug Drabick, Andy Van Slyke, Jay wow. Bell. Great players. Wow. And, you know, Jeff King was a good player. He wasn't a great major league right. player. We just kind of picked him. Well, the year I interned for the Pirates, I, I ginned up enough courage this was his last year with 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 pittsburgh okay. before moving on ginned up enough courage I'd, I'd collected some broken bats from the team one of them was his and i wanted to get an autograph and and he was nice enough to sign it for me but he 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 also looked like he was just uncomfortable having a one-on-one conversation with somebody that he didn't know yeah and i want i just wanted to ask him a question it's like uh what's it like playing at wrigley field and he told me he hated wrigley field because the field was too hard i'm like not the answer I thought I was going to get, but okay. And I took the autograph and just walked away. I was like, I just talked with Jeff King. I got a big kick out of that. Wow. So yeah. we're talking about Cruz and Skeens, who are probably going to be 1-1 one, one and 1-2 one, pick. 
Um, I'd forgotten until Greg Swindell uh, was on the broadcast in, at the Fayetteville Regional that he was the number two pick yeah. behind Jeff King, yeah. and they competed against each other that year. Yeah. It's so cool. It's cool to see that these two guys are on the same team, but when they actually do compete in the same league, what do you remember from those matchups? You know, uh, Swindell was like Jeff King. He was a, a notch above. I mean, he was an outstanding player, and uh, you know, his velocity was uh, was very good from the left side. Um, could pitch, you know, and it was always, always talked about who's going to go one, who's going to go two, and and uh, and that was for a couple of weeks before the draft, and then. Uh, uh, I remember, uh, was it Sid Thrift with the, uh, That's right. with the Pirates mm-hmm. came in? I remember him coming to Fayetteville, and we're at old George Cole Field, and him standing there watching Jeff, you know, play a game. And Jeff ended up having a good game. In fact, I remember him showing power to the opposite field and uh, just uh, just had an outstanding game. That probably tipped the scales. What uh, stands out to you about about what's different in college baseball right now. You know, we saw all these home runs this last year. Uh, some people think uh, that the ball is a piece of it. Some people think age of players is another piece of it. Some people think that there's cheating going on with the bats. What do you, th- what do you think of the state of college baseball right now with all these home runs? Well, I really don't like it. I mean, I'm not a Portal fan. I mean, I don't think you see development anymore very much. I mean, when you come into a major program, you better be able to produce right now. Mm-hmm. And as a result of that, I think you're going to see older players, um, more seasoned players through the Portal all of the time. And, um, you know, the young guy that goes to a mid-level program is going to probably enter the portal and go somewhere else the next year and i mean i think it's just a mess i think it's a a slippery slope with nil and uh i i honestly feel like Skeens would be a razorback if if it wasn't for nil money yeah i I mean i mean I, i was with him and with van horn when he came in on a visit last year and when he left i thought for sure he was going to come to arkansas but you know all of a sudden, he visits LSU, and he told Dave Van Horn, he says, um, I love Baton Rouge. <laughs> Do you? <So. laughs> Isn't that interesting? Yeah, kind of. I kind of thought he would be, too. You know, the way that you're describing um, what, tra- what the transfer portal has done specifically to baseball, but you're seeing this in other sports, too. It, it's almost like, Matt, would this be the right way to put it? It's almost like there's a farm system within college sports for the big time leagues and the big time schools. And I agree with coach. I think you're, I think he's right on that. It's the mid majors. That's where kids are going to go. And then, and then you got to be able to produce and then they're looking for a quick fix and then they go to Arkansas. Then they go to LSU. Yep. Yep. I I really feel that I feel strong. And, and, and we're seeing it today. Uh, That's right, Matt. But also you're, I mean, so, so independent of that, this is the, this is the world that college sports lives around right now. And you have to embrace it, really, if you're going to, if you're pro- probably, if you're going to run a successful program. Coach Van Horn has done that. Yeah, I think Dave has done a, a great job with the portal. I mean, it looks like the uh, players coming in right now, like the catcher from Texas Tech and the shortstop from Sacramento State. I mean, uh, it sounds like they're the real deal. And I know he was really excited about a kid that was in last week. He was a closer. I forget what school he's at, but, uh, you know, that's, that's what you see. Coach, I know um, did you you retired from the Razorback Foundation, right? But you still you're still around. I mean, I've seen you at a lot of baseball games. Uh, what's what's would you describe yourself as retired, or is this sort of a quasi retirement? Well, uh, you know, I retired completely in 2017, and then when they built that baseball footprint, the new development center, um, they asked me if I'd come back and make and make some calls. Uh, they said we'll pay you. X a month, and and uh, you don't have to go to meetings. You can just make some calls, and so I did that. And so now, last week, they've just hired a new executive director, and mm-hmm. we're going to have he's going to have one on ones with everybody, and I'll be very transparent with him and tell him where you know what I'm doing and what's going on. And so I really don't know uh, you know what the future holds. Last thing on that, I've seen some people complain a little that the new director i think his name is ryan white yep. uh, is not an arkansan doesn't have a connection to the school or to the state 
you and I do not, we were not born in Arkansas. Right. I did not have a connection to the Razorbacks yeah. before I took the gig. It's the same yeah. with you. I mean, these things, you don't have to be from Arkansas or be connected to the university to be successful in these roles, right? Right. I mean, and Hunter Yurichek pointed that out. When he met with the foundation and said Ryan White was selected, uh, he talked about him not being from Arkansas but loves Arkansas. And, that, and, and that's how. I see myself like I was the biggest Matt Jones fan. I loved uh, Arkansas sports. I go to all of them. And, you're, at, and, you're at all the women's games I call too. Yeah, yeah. and I, I I like it. And so I, when I was coaching, I I hated that if we'd lose an Arkansas kid that could play. And I mean, I always wanted the Arkansas player if possible. And just so proud of that '85 team that five of our nine starters were black and they were all from Arkansas. And, just good athletes that developed, you know, so that, that, that was good. Coach, that's that's super cool because I, I know whenever we played and, and like uh, Phil was saying, like you were saying, going to other teams, it's always cool when you see another coach uh, come up to, from another sport supporting the team. Coach, we're, uh, I hear the music, so we're, we're about out of time okay. here. I know. Great. Um, you're teeing off at 1.30, I think, same time as me. Okay. I have yeah. a feeling your team's going to do better. Matt Jones told me these scrambles take five hours. Yeah. If it's five hours, we're going to miss the first couple innings of the game. Yeah. I'm dropping my clubs wherever I need to and <laughs> leaving to watch. Yeah. I think you might too. Bet Online is your number one source for all your betting needs. Get the latest odds, lines, and matchup reports for baseball, boxing, golf, and more. Bet Online continues to be the fastest and easiest way to place your wagers, including live betting and your favorite casino and card games available to play right from your phone. Head to the website or use your mobile device to sign up today and get in on the action. Remember to use our promo code BELIEVE. That's B L E A V. For your 50% welcome bonus on your first deposit. Bet online where the game starts.